Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I am recording this intro for probably the next 15 or so episodes because when this goes up, I will be in Italy. I've been editing like mad in order to get ready to go and have videos up for you guys while I'm gone. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and all the ones coming up and the video will start in a second. Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I did try to heal Shadowheart a little bit and I, I saw you can wake somebody up if they're knocked out if you push them I don't know if I can do that no because I also saw under the knocked out thing and I don't want to go too close because she's naked and I'll get in trouble on YouTube but um they will I think it's it they will disappear after a long rest and I was like, what? And so, I don't know. Like, it would be interesting if she could, like, wake up. I don't know, though. <laughs> somebody on Reddit. How <laughs> to wake up someone you're not unconscious and proceeds to tell the story of what they did. And someone's like, you gently shake them and whisper, wake up, bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> With patch five, their bodies disappear after a long rest. Oh, I wonder if I can. Can I help up? Target can't be an enemy. <laughs> well, I'm. Gonna, I'll try to throw a potion, maybe. And away I go. Ah. <gasps> uh. Can I put her in my pocket? Yeah, it seems like nobody's got... Nobody's got a solution, and, it, and a lot of people are actually, it seems like, upset with the way, um... It's handled. Well, the way of being knocked out is handled in-game. Like, specifically, like, they were bringing it up, and this bothered me too, with the hags people that are, like, under an illusion, like, you can, and I, I thought, I was like, okay, I'll just do it passively. Although at the time, I didn't realize, like, using an arrow <laughs> would kill them. Or using magic would, you have to, like, melee them. But yeah, when you passive, like, knock out the hags, like, the people who are illusion to fight you, um, you can't save them afterwards, like, it seems like. And the game treats it like you've killed them. And when you come back, they'll just be dead bodies or, like, bloodstains, you know? And I was also upset when I removed the mask and it killed them because they're like, get the mask off me. And I was like, okay. And then it was like, JK. And I was like, oh, you know, we need a nap. We need to go. I'm also expecting people to protect. I, I assume they're going to say something about Shadowheart. I'm. I'm hoping, I hope, I just like, I'm like worried like, like people who watch are gonna be mad. It's not mad, but it's gonna be like disappointing where it's like, oh, look, like, I don't know, like, like it's like a bad story now, but I'm like, well, I guess this is my story. I don't know, that's not the way I was trying to say it. Um, like, like, I want to have as good as, like, as, as much of the story as possible my first time through and not doing that is upsetty spaghetti for me but i also don't want to like i don't know i don't want to keep reloading over and over I, I to be fair if it was um someone like carlac i'd probably be reloading but to be fair i wouldn't i don't think i'd be doing something that carlac wouldn't like you know at least to that extreme Ooh, that's cool it does already glow oh is it a double it's two-handed? Ugh. I'll use it for a bit. Jeez. I am... What else am I carrying? Well, I'm no longer encumbered, but I'm on the verge of it. I don't know what I am carrying that is so heavy. Like, I got... I have no armor left. I have, like, no other weapons. Like, I... I have my shield, but, like... I have all these books, but I'm afraid to, like, put them away in case I'll need them. You know? Yeah, I don't know, but... I'm gonna have to do a long rest, which I don't know if I'm allowed to do. 
But I need to do a well, first let's save because I did a lot of work. Because we need long rest, we're gonna lose Shep Heart, but Or do we just need a do we just need a bunch of short rests, maybe? I won't have any level threes if I don't long rest. Let's try a long rest and see what happens. I don't think anybody has anything they want to say despite everything let's click on someone though just what I need the shadow fell the depravity of Shah's spirit laid bare Kinja. yeah um is anybody else gonna say anything yeah, it's about shadow art Plane of Shadow. My tutor called it a dark mirror held up to our own plane of existence. A perversion of all we hold dear. I thought she was exaggerating. And I was wrong. Okay, so they've all got things to say about the Shadow Plane. It's evil in here. Let's get in and get out fast. Well... I'm sure after a long rest, people want things to say. Oh, I'm losing my voice. Shah's domain is a far cry from Mistress. The Weave's light is truly extinguished by such darkness. Just when you think your day can't get any stranger, you end up traipsing around an impossible looking shadow dimension. Oh, mm, yes. Honestly, just once, could we end up somewhere normal? A tavern, maybe. Or a nice, friendly brothel. I take anything at this rate. A nice, friendly brothel. Yeah. Another step forward. Let's see if we can talk to Halson in bear form. He is in the ground. Halson, come out of the ground. This place is not of the natural realm. It is the domain of darkness. Emptiness. Sheer nothingness. Okay, bye! Oh, so he temporarily changes back while to chat. Are you still in the ground? You are still just determined to be in the ground, it looks like. Alright, well. Where's Shadow Hearts? Camp, is it just gone? I wonder if I talk to Withers. Oh, hey, Withers. Do you have anything to say? Where is he? He up here. That's the Oathbreaker. Hi! That's my camp for some reason that I never use. There he is. Withers, something terrible has happened. <laughs> Fate spins along. No, Shadow Art was supposed to be. She was the she was the first Dost one we got. A new ally. Uh, perhaps a resurrect. We can't resurrect her. <clears throat> She's an enemy. She was my first companion, technically. <sighs> well. <clears throat> I feel bad for not feeling more bad, honestly, but it's also like, I don't know. Sometimes things, you, you play them out, right? Sometimes you just play things out because, what, the, what am I trying to think? Like, sometimes it's interesting to see how things will play out, and I have been kind of curious, like, what would happen if certain key people weren't around. Lazelle seems really important. Shadowheart's whole thing seems really important. Like, everybody seems to have, like, key roles to play, right? And so it'll be interesting to see how the game works around that. Um, but it's still... It's just a different... I'm gonna have to look at it as like a different version of the story. And I think in most games, I will keep Shadowheart. And I won't bring her with me, maybe, on that one. Or I don't know what you gotta do. Like, you have to have maybe a better relationship with her for a better shot at persuading her. Or you gotta like constantly be like, no. Your religion sucks. You're not gonna want to do that. Like I felt like the only reason I had as good a rapport with her as I did is I was like, listen, you can worship how you want, 
for you personally, the only issue comes when, like, your organization, like, your church organization starts, like, being terrible to people. You know what I mean? Um, but I didn't want to get in a religious argument with her. Besides, the player character doesn't seem to have, like, very much nuance at all. They just hit everything with a sledgehammer of good or evil, so it's, like, or stupid or... You know what I mean? I'm just like, whatever. Like, naive or stupid, and so... Or mean. So it's like, yeah, but... Oh wait, I guess... Did anybody have anything they wanted to say? I'm not saying anything... Okay, really fast. I, I, I forgot to end day, so let's see if anybody has anything to say about Shadowheart. Greetings. Nope, okay. Perfect, 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 bye. Nap time. Why are you- why- you suck. Why are you always selecting- you know what? No. Well, fine. I don't get to meditate. Oh, Scratch has something for me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me... The dog is unable to speak through the small bag. What he you holds got in there? I don't know. Maybe a you potion can tell me. of animal All speaking. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Oh my gosh, bestest boy, bestest boy! Look at this boy. He's so cute. Every time I see him, I just think he's so cute. I need to bring him out more. I was kind of at one point when I died in the fight with the bad guy, with the necromancer guy. I was like, ah, I wish I had Scratch here to to make this, you know, a little easier to pick people up, but well, who should we bring in the final onslaught? Oh, I don't We should bring Will and we'll bring Carlac Char called Shadow Heart <gasps> nothing. But I know better than that. She is something. She is worthy. She is strong. She is Shadow Heart. Ah! Nothing can take the her from her. Not even a goddess. I That's the spirit. Does he know she's dead? Uh, uh. I hate seeing Shadow Heart suffer like this. All for doing the right thing. Um, it's up to us to look after her now. What? If she needs a rest, we carry her. If she needs a hand, she has ours. If she needs ears, we've got four between us. Whatever she needs. Okay. So, the game is acting like I persuaded Shadowheart. And that she's still with us, but that Char denounced her. I am... I need internet! I need help! <laughs> Apparently other people have this issue too. That makes me... That makes me weirded out, honestly. Like, for all that we acclaim that Baldur's Gate, you know, is worthy of all these awards, it really hasn't handled the knocked out state very well. They shouldn't give it to us if they aren't gonna deal with it, you know? Um, like, properly. And, like, I... Just like other people are having this issue too, where the game is acting like Shadowheart's still around, but she's not. So maybe I just like half asked it, honestly, like half it's like a half baked, where like I knocked her out, I didn't actually kill her. And like, but the you know what I mean? Like maybe I should have. Uh Poor 
Poor Shadowheart. The gods are nothing if not vindictive in their vengeance. Yeah, you would know. I suppose it was only a matter of time until Shah took vengeance. For the Lady of Loss, she does not like losing. See, and I feel like there's a whole cutscene that I'm apparently missing where like Shah like came out and was like denouncing us. And like denouncing Shadowheart, and I don't have that now, and now I am tempted to reload and just like actually kill Shadowheart properly? Cause this is weird. Shadowheart suffers. You might be surprised, but it pains me to see. I see. Now, what would you ask? I was hoping to hook those two up, honestly. I might have to go back and redo the Shadow Art fight and actually kill her, or kill her while she's knocked out. I guess because I saved at that point too. Shah's ire has shaken Shadow Heart, and yet she goes on. See? There is untold I, I, strength there, this, I feel. This I can't this I can't let go. This is this is weird. I don't I I don't want a half story, you know? Like I'm missing stuff here and I just ugh. Now I have to redo all of the putting everything away to and I did see, somebody did ask if, if like, because I was hoping, too, that if you knock Shadowheart out, she might come later on and be, like, angry. Somebody said that they hadn't, they, they were, like, in Act 3, like, towards the end, and they hadn't seen anything like that. And everybody else was like, no, yeah, it just treats her like, like you killed her, kind of. But, like, it gives you, like, a weird story. Like, I don't want to do that. Do I want to reload? Uh... I'm honestly in like I'm I'm I've 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 been sitting here strongly considering the save scum method of like getting Shadow Heart to convince her, but honestly like I've done that a few times, right? But like there are moments where I want to let I think this is what it boils down to is sometimes when tragedy happens I want it to play out. You know, like I don't necessarily always wanna have everything be perfect air quotes. Like, a lot of times, yeah, and I'll save scum when I want, but, like, in this moment, I kind of want to, like, not, and just see what happens, and, like, zoom out. I don't know, though, if, like, killing her while she's down is... Mm. Oh, do we still have... Turn that off. I don't know if this is gonna get me in trouble. Yeah. Okay, so she's officially dead. I've officially killed her. But I don't know if everybody will treat it like that. Because I technically knocked her out instead of killing her in a fight, I'm worried that not killing her in the fight will make everything not do what I want. Greetings. Okay, well now nobody has anything to say, it would appear. Well, now no one's giving me like a weird, you know, conversations about Shadow Heart that don't actually exist. About a Shadow Heart that doesn't exist anymore. Well met. But I do That's feel like everybody should have something to say. Like it's very weird that they don't. Like, she was a friend, and everybody thought well of her, even Lazelle did. Um, yeah, I feel like it's uh, being handled. I'm, I'm hoping maybe something will come up later, but I feel like they should be like, Hey, you just killed someone who was one of our friends, like, we should have a chat, because now we feel a bit weird, you know? Color of cold. Flaming Strike. Well, I should give him Flaming Strike because freaking Shadowheart had it. And now she is not here. I think instead of Lazelle, we'll bring Karlak. What's on your mind? Oh, well, the fact that I killed one of our friends and no one's saying no, anything. Not for it, but your party's a little full. 104. 
like I don't, if the game isn't gonna like treat it like it happened that makes me feel weird like that's something that I'll reload stuff for is because like like I actually like like, like I said I like to sometimes let tragedies play out I was going to let the tragedy of my Inquisitor in Dragon Age Inquisition, you can, I've probably said this before, but you can let something happen to your clan, you can let them basically be massacred, but it's all off screen, uh, which to me felt like cheating, kind of, but then also like nobody says anything about it, and like it's like the most tragic thing that could happen to you is that like your entire family and everybody you grew up with is dead, and like it felt like my character's like lips were sewed shut and she was screaming on the inside and nobody acknowledged it at all. They did a little bit in Trespasser DLC, like two people are like, oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. And that's like way down the line. And I was like, I actually, I think, I think, I think what happened is I reloaded like a four or five hours back because I was like, absolutely not. Like if you're going to make a tragedy be paltry, like I won't participate. Like I will, I will save scum that, you know? And like, I feel like, with my character maybe like we let Shadowheart die or like we we like knocked her out but it's like she still looks at you and she's like I'll never give up or whatever and then it's like I have to kill her you know that's kind of how I'm picturing is that my character like basically mercy kills her instead of letting her you know fade away in the shadow fell which seems like a cruel fate so I don't know Hopefully it doesn't, it's not like super weird. We should be, we're pretty heavy on the non-caster front, but I think we're going to be pretty heavy on the forward fighting front, honestly. I don't know. I just worry that like I'm going to go through this whole like Act 2 ending and it's gonna be like, and the Shadow Heart death means almost nothing. And I'm gonna be like, okay. Like, yeah, I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't like super emotionally attached to Shadow Heart, but like, I still feel like it should mean something. Let's actually fast travel. What are we doing? Moonrise Towers, let's go. Everybody's probably there. Or should we go to the inn? Maybe we should go to the inn first. I see my... Uh, well, nope, okay. Yeah, they are... Um, they are in this... Wow. I hope I didn't, like, miss out on the fight by doing... By sleeping. I needed a nap! Hello? 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 I started the conversation? Games have an odd time with cutscenes lately. It's not letting me do anything else, okay. Unshackled from shadows. She will rise in moonlit glory Ooh! and carve a path of brightness to the accursed one's second death. So saith the wise Alondo. Yeah, who's that? That beacon of angelic wrath has taken the fight to Catherick on the rooftop. In the first line of defense, are dead. But storming the tower won't be easy. And if we wait too long, Catherick will gather his strength and retaliate. Did I wait too long already? Woohoo! He's on the back foot for the first time since he returned from the grave. Yay! This is it. The spearhead moment. You brought us this far. So how shall we proceed? Ah, uh, yeah. You're the high harper. You're tell me. No, well, yeah, we're we're taking this. We're like, we're we're a bit, we're having a hard time, I think. So we're gonna like be a little bit more formal, I guess. Like not like like. Stiff, stiff back. We're gonna get more stiff backed about this. Moving and secure the ground floor first. Cut off exits. A sound strategy. Once it's done, me and my harpers will hold the ground floor while you hunt down the general himself. Floric left some of her flaming fist. They'll scout the prisons and the barracks below to ensure we're not taken by surprise. 
Say the word, and we're off. I'd rather you join my party. I'm touched, but I'm already spoken for. Yeah, okay, I just want to see what would happen. Uh, so be it, see you on the other side. Speed. You seem to be their chosen champion after all, against the false absolute. At the ready, Harpers! In this alight, there will be victory. In this alight, we will avenge the fallen! I do feel like she needs to be with her people right now. You know? The time has come. Gather equal taste of death at last. I might have to reload, though, if this is me missing out on my chance to get Jahira. But if this is it, that's very weird and I don't like it, so... Once more to save Baldur's Gate. No traps, please. Do these people have anything? Holy, okay. Uh, I think I already have that. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. They don't mind if I take the Harper's stuff? Wait, what? Hang on, I'm looking at... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is... There are other ways to get around. Yeah, I think I might just actually... Book it. No, no, no! Dang it. Oh! What? I think we're gonna we're gonna try to run out. I'm gonna try to run away from this. I'm gonna try to go up the outside. I did all that exploring for something. I think my character would be most upset that she feels like she couldn't help Shadowheart in the end, right? Where it's like you lock swords and you're staring at each other and my character's like, I can't let you kill this person in Shadow Hearts. I have to, but even though she doesn't want to, right? And like, so Olvadir would feel that weight of like, never, like not being able to help Shadow Heart when she needed it most, you know? Anyway, I'm reloading because I didn't want to go through the effort of trying to escape the slow. Um, probably would take just as long, but as having to deal with this loading screen shenanigans and going through the cutscene again. And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is, again, just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter. Some of them will be a little longer. Uh, but I did my best just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.